Hey students, this is Dr. Guerrero. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to sign up for the FNP Rotations and Telehealth Google Calendar. All right, first of all, you have to go find the calendar. And you do that by clicking the link that I have provided for you on the Sakai, um, assign, uh, Sakai site for 585. Um, it'll be that, that blue highlighted page. It'll take you directly to the calendar. Once you get there, you're going to see this. Now, you will, own, you will not see my own calendar on here, which I have all of my own personal things um, that are... Uh, that I'm doing this week in blue, but you will see these white areas right here that are available uh, during this week. It's a one week at a time um, for any student to be able to sign up. So for example, this one right here, it says Thursday, May 14th from 1230 to 6 about 6 p.m. You'll be working with me. Uh, it's a telehealth shift and this is for a number of uh, second student. We can only have two students rotating with us during any telehealth or um, any type of preceptorship experiences. Um, if you click on that, let's say that that's something that you wanted to do, you could just go ahead and say, okay, um, I, I, this fits my schedule. I'm going to sign up. Okay. Unfortunately, there's nothing here for where because um, these, the telehealth shifts will all be done uh, using VC. Uh, and Dr. Schwenk has given you that information, how to sign up for that. So if you have questions on that, I will ask that you forward those questions to her. If you want to commit to this, you would hit save. If you don't want to, don't hit anything and just hit cancel. Okay. Uh, let's say you want to look at this one. And again, this is the same time period and um, it'll be for uh, the first student again two students working at the same time together with the with a faculty member. Then over here you have some additional things that you can sign up for. It looks like Dr. Mariak is offering a telehealth inbox review and again you can have this is one student per um, uh, uh, per opportunity here. Um, so go ahead and um, uh, sign up as uh, you see fit. Okay. If there's nothing for this week, all you have to do is say, take me to the next week because it will probably get filled up pretty quickly. Right. And then here you can see that there's um, a couple of more opportunities. Uh, there is, uh, I have a, another telehealth shift for one student that you can, that can sign up. And then I have a uh, number two student slot for a um, inbox review um, for myself. Unfortunately, the other things have already been taken, so you will not see those available anymore. But if you continue every week, you will see that there are lots of things available with myself and with Dr. Schwenk and, you know, and a variety of different, um, uh, different uh, opportunities for for you to sign up okay it looks like this right here on Tuesday 526 Dr. Schwenk has uh, one opportunity for an NP student to be with her uh, it looks like I have two here and um, then here it looks like I have a number two student slot a number one student slot uh, and um, this might be an alternate is what I'm thinking. Yeah, so I have an alternate set up there that probably will not be there for you guys. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do alternates in a different way. Uh, I will have a running list of people who are interested in being alternates in case something happens, you get sick, a person who signed up for a, for a slot gets sick or something. I'd like to be able to not waste an opportunity uh, like that to be to get clinical hours, so I will have a running uh, running uh, list of the the students who uh, are available at any time to be able to uh, have additional hours if somebody is called in or gets sick or has to work or something else. So here's some additional time uh, for everybody. Okay, so I think you this should give you a pretty good idea. Um, so uh, just to uh, let you know one other thing, uh, when you sign sign up, uh, let's say that I, I want to do this, uh, you will click on it, you'll hit save. Uh, this will automatically save on your own calendar. 
okay? Uh, what you need to do, though, is for, for some reason, if you want to cancel, this is important here, to cancel an appointment slot that you've already booked, you will have to leave this sign-up page and then go to your own calendar and delete it delete the event from your calendar. Once you do that, it will open back up for any other student to be able to take, okay? Unfortunately, I've realized that the Google Calendar does, you cannot put your own calendar um, on uh, top of, you know, kind of like on top of this one. So you may have to have a separate uh, tab open here with your own calendar. Um, to just make sure that there's no conflicts uh, in your own schedule. Okay, uh, look forward to seeing you and mentoring you. Thanks.